Welcome to Om Shanti Healing and Yoga with Jill. Thank you for joining me. Before we begin this video, uh, I want you to think about bringing in a couple props, especially if you're really tight in your back or have any back injuries or chronic pain. One tool is this blanket. Any blanket will do. You just want to fold it in a square or rectangle shape so you can simply prop it underneath your sit bones. In forward folds, this is great to help tilt your pelvis forward and prevent that rounding and rolling back of the spine. The next tool is a block. If you have a yoga block, please bring it in. You may not need it, but it's good to have it on hand just in case. If you don't have a block, uh, a box in your pantry would work fine. Uh, a can of soup, you know, anything that you can, just prop your hand on top of to apply gentle pressure there when we're standing up, okay? Another tool is a strap. Now the strap's gonna be used for around the ball of your foot. When we come into forward folds, this is a great way if you are super tight in your back and hips, the strap is nice. Now you can use a yoga strap or a bathrobe strap or a belt, anything really will do as long as it's long enough for you to sit upright and hold on to it, okay? So as we begin, with our yoga video. Uh, I wanna always start with some time to center and ground body and mind. So when we're busy and we're working through our day and we're just kind of scattered and way out here and all around, there's not that time really or that mindfulness where we just kind of bring everything in and we connect with our breath and our body and our mind. Now yoga is about connection to breath, body and mind. So we wanna yoke those three together as one space within the body. So you can pause this video once I walk you through the breath work portion and just take your time with it as much as you need to, okay? The idea is to come right here in our space and body and mind and with breath and that's our starting point before we do any sort of movement at all, okay? So let's first check in, start to breathe in and out through your nose. Now even with this part, you can place the blanket underneath your sit bones and use that as a little prop to help you get your back a little bit straighter. I want you to focus on kind of grounding the sit bones a little bit. And then from there, just finding an equal balance between the left and right sides of your sit bones and hips. From there, we lift the ribs. So in doing so, we stretch out the upper and lower abdominals and we also lengthen and lift that lower back. So think about my hands right here, and I'm lifting your ribs up from your hips, but your hips are cemented or grounded really deeply to the earth, okay? From there, we wanna relax shoulders, okay? And just try to line up those shoulders over your hips. So if you're pitching forward, just notice that. This is gonna strain your back, okay? So we wanna bring those shoulders back over the hips, then we ground and we lift. This will support the lower abs will engage and that will support the heaviness of our ribs and our shoulders and arms and head and neck. So from this space, we want to start to find our breathing. So you can have a soft gaze out in front of you. You can close your eyes if that helps you to focus more inward. But let's do our best to try to breathe in and out through the nose. So we want to find our breath first. So notice if you're breathing up in your collarbone up here and it's really shallow and it's quick, this is not where we want to breathe from. This does not give us enough prana or energy life force or breath to go about our day in a relaxed state. This creates anxiety. This stresses the body and wears us out a lot faster by the end of the day than we should be. So typically when we're not mindful or we're just beginning this alerting, we breathe up here. So let's start to work a little bit deeper than that. So as we're sitting and we're nice and straight, our belly is lifted a little bit, we're gonna start to breathe in and out through that nose and just listen. That's step one here. Just notice where your breathing is coming from. Okay, do you feel it up high where we just talked about? Do you feel it more in your throat? We wanna guide it lower. So every time you take a breath in, see if you can deepen it just a little bit. Maybe working just to the solar plexus right here at the base of your rib cage. Just trying to guide that breath to right here. Good. 
And we want to guide our breath by beginning on that inhale. Okay, so as you inhale, try to inhale right here. And then guide it up into your heart chakra right here. And then we exhale back down. Good. Trying that a few times, pausing the video if you need to. Next step, we're going to lower all the way down to the sacral right below your belly button. See if you can draw your breath in here. And then guide it all the way to the heart chakra. And then as you exhale, all the way back down. So placing a palm is really helpful. One at the sacral, one at your heart. Breathe into your sacral hand. All the way at the very top of your inhale, you're at the other hand. And then you guide it all the way back down. So if this is confusing or really difficult for you, visualize a ball of white, vibrant light down here. And you're taking that light and you're guiding it up the spine, into the heart, and then back down. When you breathe in, Think of that white light becoming really bright and radiant and expansive and just kind of filling up here. We're following the spine, so bring some of that energy into your back as well. Right up to the heart and back down. So once you get this, and don't get frustrated if it's, if it's hard. You know, with everything to get good at it, you have to practice it, right? So you just be patient with yourself. Try it for five minutes and then take a break. When you're ready to begin the physical portion of this video, we'll start to incorporate some movement. So when we do, just try to keep that focus inward as best as you can. And taking breaks if you need to, okay? So let's begin with legs out and we butterfly the knees apart. And again, keep this blanket underneath you if you need to. Pull your heels in as close to you as you can so you feel some pressure on the outer edges of your feet. Okay, so we're gonna push those feet together a little bit and then from our hip, we're gonna do our best to just gently guide those knees towards the floor. Just try to stay as open as you can, okay? So maintaining that straight back, we're gonna bring the arms out to a T. Now as we move into Robin's breath, this is where we're gonna start our warm up. I want you to focus from your lower belly, pulling in through those core muscles and really pressing them back against the front of your vertebrae, okay? So let's tilt the pelvis back, round and lean back. And then from here, working from our shoulders, activate, bring the hands in, press the palms together. Now from here, we tilt the pelvis first. Belly is still toned. We tilt forward, come back up to our straight back, and then forward fold to reach. You'll feel a lot of pressure on the outer edges of your feet. You'll feel a deep stretch in your hamstrings and inner thighs. Then pressing the, in, the feet together on those outer edges and down into the floor. The belly tones, the back is straight, or we round rather, and I want you to feel that belly pulling in and visualize stacking one vertebrae at a time like blocks. Shoulders end up right at the hip, just where we began. Come back to a T, okay? So this is, I want you to really focus on that core and that back here. Round, belly pulls in, arms come together. Tilt and lift up, back to that stacked shoulder over hip. Tilt forward, press your feet together, reach. Feet push down into the floor, round, belly comes up, we stack, and we lift the ribs. Back to a T, round, pull back, good, now we tilt, we come up to straight, and forward fold, reach, really feel it through those legs, press down through your feet, inhale back up, good. back to a T round. So as we do a few more of these, just start to notice what parts of your body are talking to you the most. Tilt, lift, press your sit bones down, lift, reach, and fold. Good. Press down through the outer edges of your feet, lift up. Good. 
Let's do two more. Round. Let's see if we can lean back a little farther with these last two. Really trigger some more belly. Now tighten that core back up. Stack your spine. Fold, reach, as long as you can. Press those feet, inhale back up. Good, one more, out to a T, round, pull back. Coming back up, stack, lift, and fold, reach. Press through the feet, back up. Good, we feeling it in those shoulders too? Exhale all the way back down to the floor. Now let's take the legs out to straight. Try that same thing again. Okay, I'm gonna remove my blanket, but please leave it if you feel you need it, okay? So with this one, we're gonna pull the toes back and push up through the heels. Soften the knees if you need to. If you can get your legs straight comfortably, we wanna ground the backs of the heels and the calves at the same time a little bit and just try to feel as much connection to the floor through the legs as we can to deepen the stretch. Let's start at a T. Same thing, notice in your body if this is harder for you. Exhale, lean back. So we press those sit bones down into the floor, really round and open through that spine. Now belly's tightened. Think about it, low inward upward scoop from below your belly button. Pull in, we tilt forward, Press the sit bones down and lift your ribs. Now from here, think about tilting the hips forward at the top, right at your ilium, at the top of your hip. And we lean forward, reach, pull your toes back. Good, now grounding through the sit bones, we lift and lengthen, reach, lift your ribs, press your sit bones down, and come back to a T, coming through again. Round, lean back, Good. Tighten your belly, stack like blocks, press down, lift up, and forward fold, exhale. Now each time we do this, see if you can get a little closer to your toes with those fingertips, round up, Good. and back to T. Exhale, lean back, Good. inhale, come forward, stack and lift. And exhale to fold towards your toes, reach. Good. Inhale back up. Good. Exhale. And inhale to lift. And then exhale to fold. So we try to move with our breath. We take it slow. We have a couple breaths in between with some things that we do with Hatha style yoga. But that's just fine. That's my personal preference to take your time to be mindful of your body in space and where you know you are all the time. To build that inner awareness, to protect yourself, and just to be more mindful and feel more centered and more connected to the earth and the universe. Let's make this our last one reach. And back up on an inhale, and exhale back down. Good. So our shoulders can roll out a little if you need them to. Good. So let's press the palms down into the floor here with the fingers facing the sit bones. And we're gonna press so we can straighten the arms, and then let's lift the ears up from our shoulders. So from here, we're gonna just point the toes. We're gonna practice that straight back. And these arms are here to help us, but we're gonna get into the ankles here at the same time. So let's start with the right foot, point and flex. And then the other side, point and flex. So let's just work these ankles, getting into the legs a little bit. Keep going with it. We're gonna do five on the right foot and five on the left. Three, four, last one, five. Very nice. So soften the elbows a little bit here. So option one for reverse table, we place the feet hips width apart. 
So when we come up, the knees are going to move forward over our ankles and we're going to be in a reverse table position. Now if you're more advanced, you can extend your legs out and point your toes. And once the hips lift, we try to touch the toes to the floor if we can. Okay, so I'll show you the modification first. We want to roll the shoulders back and kind of pull the shoulder blades in. And as we do that, we want to press and ground through the palms of our hands and our feet. So as we lift up, we're going to press, low belly always scoops, hips lift, and we come to right here. So holding here, let those shoulders roll back, check in to see if you're open through the chest. Hold right here. Two more, stay with your breath, two more deep breaths. Slowly hinge at your hip and come back down. Now I'll show you the extended plank, reverse plank version. If you want to stay in table, just do that same thing one more time. So let's come up. We press into the floor. Think about lifting the hips all the way up to the sky and bring your toes towards the floor. Even if you don't touch, it brings a nice stretch into the fronts of the ankles. Really press into the floor and feel if you can lift your heart. This one's a bit harder. Stay for two more. Follow your belly breath. Good. Slowly, with control, we come right back down. Very nice. Now let's tuck the right foot in to inside the left thigh. Now this is one where you can certainly bring that blanket in for underneath the sit bones. And we'll bring the strap in for the ball of the foot. We want to wrap it right around. Now if you have really tight hamstrings, bend your knee a little bit. You're still going to be able to use the strap to pull your chest forward and come down into a fold. So if you have that bent knee, you can always try it later and see if you can press that calf to the floor. So let's start off with that straight back at the very beginning where we're rooted, we're lifted through the ribs, and we're nice and tall and long through the abdominals. Now as we wrap that strap around the ball of the foot, we can feel as we pull that strap towards us, or the foot towards us, it kind of draws that heart forward. Okay? Why don't you think about trying to keep your back nice and flat. Keep the heart forward and leading. Try to start your fold at your hip sockets, rather than thinking about bringing your forehead to your shin. Okay? This is where you pivot from. And think about the belly button coming down right to the top of that leg, okay? So lead with your heart, find your tall back, and on your exhale, we're going to fold right towards that extended left leg. So when you feel a really deep stretch and you can't go any farther, come to your edge, hold it, breathe a little bit. And can we walk our hands up a little bit closer? Always think about having that resistance against the foot with your strap and we pull that chest forward the whole time. We first find length, everything with yoga. We inhale first, we find room, lift. And then on the exhale we hinge at the hip and we lead and we come a little farther. Good, let's come to another stopping point here. Breathe, hold. As we come up, we're forward folded here. Let's round the back to come up. So pull your belly back. Let's start to round the spine. I like doing it this way rather than a flat back for beginners because it just gives you more core, okay? And core is really important for strength and support and relieving back pain. Core pulls back. We round, we stack the vertebrae and we come back to our starting position. Good, release that strap. Let's just switch our legs. So the left leg goes front to the front, the right leg tucks in, okay? Strap around the ball of the foot, bring that bend into your knee. Let's find our length. And you can wrap around if you need to, to get a better grip. Lengthen first, root and lift, hinge right at your hip, lead with your heart, and fold. Okay, so let's come to our first stopping point. Hold and breathe into it. If you've got a really deep bend in your elbows at this point, that means you've got some room. 
or you can maybe take it a bit farther, moving up your strap. Okay, back to straight arms. And then lengthen again. Let's lift, reach, and fold. Find that deeper stretch. Let's stay right here for three. Good. Now as we come up, low belly pulls in, we round and we stack like blocks. Press your sit bones down, lift the ribs, hold right here. Take your strap out, keep this left leg long, and we're going to send the right out again. Now we're going to forward fold here just to take our strap around the foot. Okay, And again, we want to start out with that straight, straight back. Okay. Wrap your hands around your strap if you need to. So as we pull the balls of the feet towards us, we press up through the heel. Let's bend the knees a little bit, both knees so they're equal. And let's take our forward fold, exhale. Good. So we're holding right here, our knees are soft. We're gonna press one knee at a time towards the floor, the back of the knee. So as far as you can take it is just fine. You'll get a deep stretch through your calf, through the back of the knee and up into your hammies. So let's just press out through that right foot first. Slide that heel forward, drop the leg as far as you can, and you might find that you can get it to the floor since both knees are bent, okay? And then bring it back up and we switch sides. Just slide that left heel forward. Good, and let's switch sides. Press through your heel this whole time as the strap's pulling your toes towards you. Switch it back and forth. Keep that hinge in your fold here, because we will feel it more if we're pitched forward just a little bit. Back and forth. Let's do two more. Back to the right. Good, and back to the left. Now either both legs together, pressing down or bent, we're gonna come into a fold. Lift, ground your sit bones, forward fold, pull your chest forward. Let's hold for three right here. Good. Pull, pull, pull the belly back, excuse me, round the spine, lift and lengthen. Okay, let's take the strap away. <clears throat> Cross your ankles. We're gonna come forward to a tabletop position. So from our hands and knees, we're gonna start with a flat back. We wanna line up the shoulders over our wrists and we wanna line up the knees right underneath our hips. So let's talk about the spine. The spine is going to come into flexion and extension as we do this. This is a great way to bring lubrication into the discs of your back. It's a great way to do a gentle warm up in the morning before you leave your house. You can really focus on each little vertebrae here. So let's start as we flatten the back. And I want you to think about one vertebrae at a time, starting at the very top of your spine at the shoulders. We press the heart forward. This is gonna curve the back and drop our belly button. And then we lift the tailbone up. So we focus from top to bottom. And then when we round into our high cat, we focus from bottom to top. So let's tuck the tail tighten through that lower belly. You're going to feel it stretch across the fronts of your hips. And then we round, press into the floor here, mid backish and upper back, to really lift and round and open. Spread the shoulder blades together. Okay, heart forward, drop the belly. So we move down the spine. We try to make this movement fluid if we can. We try to feel for some warmth coming into the spine. Tuck, round, lift. And coming through again, inhale, lower. Good. And exhale, tuck and lift. Good. Let's do two more of those, heart forward. So as we come through, let's also keep that connection to the palms of our hands and the finger pads, just kind of pressing gently into the floor the whole time we're here, okay? 
One more rounding through to our high cat, and then we'll stop at a flat back. Good. Tabletop position. Let's walk the knees in to touch, the big toes to touch. Now we're going to look back at our right foot. The hips are going to drop way left. You'll feel a hard push in that left arm. Keep it straight and step. Drop your hips. So we're making a deep C curve in the back. Good. Feel how the left side of your body is super tight right here. We want to keep that engaged. Like think about the obliques below your ribs on that side. Squeeze into those obliques and take the hips back to center. And then we'll go to the other side. So we drop right, look back at your left foot. Same thing. Deep push into the floor through this right arm. Just keep pushing into the floor and let arms stacked and straight. We feel that right side of us nice and tight. Let's zip up through that right side. Come back to center. Good. Walk the knees back out and the feet to line up. Now let's drop down, place the palms like an L right at the corners of your block. So we hold it like this, hands pressing into the floor. Okay. Now from there, let's take the knees back. So this is going to be um, shoulders and abs here for us. Spread out the fingers. We press down. Try to press the inside of your finger against the block and the pad of your thumb, kind of getting a grip around the corner edges of this block. And then we press the hands down into the floor. So let's circle the elbows in, lower down as we press into those palms and press back up. Okay, let's do two more of those. Elbows in, press and back up. One more. Press down and up. This help just helps to teach you to keep that middle finger aiming forward. A lot of times I see this kind of stuff for this in class. Using this block for beginners, any arm balancing or standing on the arms you do, you always want the middle finger forward. So this is a great tool just to help you because it makes those L's in your fingers and everything spreads out from there. You press the palms down and there you are. You remove the block and your hands lined up perfectly. Okay, so let's try it without the block for two. Lower down, exhale, press into the floor. Keep your back flat, belly tight, and back up. One more time, press. Like you're trying to push into the floor the whole time. Let's walk the knees in, send the hips back. Let the arms stretch out. So from here, we're gonna bring in our block. Put it on the tall side or the short side, depending on uh, what your flexibility, the flexibility level is. Standing up onto the knees. So we're going to turn to face the front of our mat. The block's going to come back towards our foot. Let's hold it in our hand for now. Pull the low belly in. So we want to start with a straight back. Okay. Scooping that lower belly in nice and tight, pulling the ribs up from the hips. Now from here, start to pivot right at the knees. Try to keep your back straight for just a moment. Just start to pivot at the knees. You'll feel that tightening in your quads. Now hold right here. Lean back, place your block. Press your hand into the block with the stacked arm, shoulder over wrist. Now this left arm is going to reach up, and we're going to lean back just as far as we can, and that at the same time, we press the hips forward. They're nice and tight. So we have this openness in the throat. We have extension in the neck. So that's lovely for energy flow through the throat chakra and the heart chakra. But we also want to protect the neck as we come out. So let's tuck the chin, very first thing. Tighten through the belly and come on back up. So same thing on the other side. Keep the block in your hand. Let's start with those stacked hips over knees, shoulders over hips. Zip up. We're going to start to pitch right at the knee. Lean back till you feel those quads tighten. Hold. You feel how the tops of your feet are pressing down? Utilize that to help you with your balance. Place your block and we're going to reach right. So coming as, that, as deep as you want into this, lean back as far as you can. 
Breathing all the way up. Good. Tucking the chin, tightening the belly. Come all the way back up. Good. Let's take our block to the side. Tuck your chin. We're going to come all the way down. You can place your hands for support. Coming into a rabbit. So we take the very top of the head to the floor. Tucking the chin so our neck is nice and straight or as close as we can. Circle the hands back to reach your heels. Now from here, we're going to lift the hips higher. Feel the openness of the upper back. Pull the shoulder blades apart. Hold on tight to the feet. So we push the upper back towards the front of the mat. Keep the belly lifted. See how my back is round? Keeping the back rounded and open. Let's stay for two more. In an exhale, all the way back down nice and easy. Bring your hands forward for support. Press yourself back up to a seated position. Now let's cross the ankles, come to the sit bones. Scooching to the mat towards the front, we're going to lie down. So tucking the knees into the chest, give yourself a little rock left and right. Let's twist to the right. Legs are going to drop to the floor. Good. Stretch them out to straight. And let's take our left hand to the top of the thigh, or the right hand, excuse me. The left arm comes out to a T. Go so pulling in through the lower belly. Scoop. And we guide those left ribs to the floor. Press gently into your outer leg here to help deepen the twist. And then that soft shoulder follows on the left arm. Oh, let's stay for three. Just guiding breath into the left side as much as you can. Good. Bend the knees, pull the heels back, in, and let's go to the left. So we drop the legs. We stretch out to straight. Okay. Left hand to the leg, right arm out to T. Press into your leg. Lengthen as much as you can, reclined. Scoop and deepen the twist. Right ribs move toward the floor. And then that right shoulder is soft, following through. Three deep breaths more, guiding into that right side. Bend the knees, pull your heels back in, and come back to your mat. Tuck the knees into the chest, and extend the legs back out. So let's walk both feet to the right corner of the mat. So we're curving the back a bit. So the arms are going to circle up overhead, so the palms, the backs of the hands are on the floor, palms up. And then let's take the right hand to the left wrist. Pull your left arm to straight and start to crescent your body over to the corner of your mat. Keeping resistance there through that arm stretch, holding here. Guiding some deep breaths. Let's stay for three more up into this left side. Very good, release. Switching sides, feet go to the left. Switch your hands around, pulling that right arm to straight and let's crescent the other direction. Stay 
Stay for three more up the right side. Very good. Come back to center. One knee at a time. There's a deep curve in your low back. One knee at a time comes in so we can slowly counter moving the hips back, tilting the pelvis, and the low back presses flat. Hold right here. So at this point, you can pause if you would like and spend some time in Shavasana. Just relaxing the eyes, softening any tension around your eyes, the hinge of your jaw your shoulders, your hips, and just softening as much as you can. Think about being heavy against the floor without pressing down. So pausing at this point to rest as long as you need. I'm gonna move right into closing. So when you're ready, bring your knees in and you can come up this way, or if you prefer to roll to your side for a little bit first, go ahead and move into your closing position, whatever way you like. So as we close, we're gonna lift and ground, find our space through our spine, guide the shoulders back over the hips. Let's take a brief moment. You can have a soft gaze or close your eyes and just turn inward and feel the rhythm of your breath. Checking in and coming back to that deep rhythm that we started, palm to palm. Find that again. This will help you turn in. Really important to stay centered. When you're trying to move your energy and open up to heal your body using yoga as a tool. As we find our space here, just feel around your hips for fluidity and warmth through your spine, through your shoulders. This was primarily back focused. So we want to check, you know, just sway a little if you like, or just feel through the back how warm and fluid it is back there. Lots of great posturing that you did today to encourage some stimulation, better circulation and muscle growth. Hopefully a sense of feeling relaxed and calm. So let's open up the arms to a T and just slowly circle to the sky. Bring the palms together and an exhale all the way to the heart. Take a deep breath in with love and light. Om Shanti Namaste. And we fold to close. Now from here, this is a lot for the lower back. You can take your hands to the floor to support you, or you can press into the outer legs, tone the tummy, and bring yourself back up with greater ease in that back as we ground the legs. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe if you would like to see more.